gotta be joking. I'm really starting to question my judges of character. <laughs> we're literally in Death Valley. There's gotta be snakes out here. And then we're in a bunch of idiots trying to track down a hockey puck. I gotta be within 100 feet. This is insane. Look at all the police cars we got here. I'm so, like, I can tell I'm so close, but it's just like. Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. So like three days ago, I got an email from the Vegas Golden Knights. That's the NHL hockey team that's based in Las Vegas, Nevada. They want to fly a weather balloon flight on Monday, like two days from now. I thought, well, that's kind of a tight timeline. They said, well, we want to break a record and we need your help to do it. So I thought, well, I've never been to Vegas. Sounds kind of cool. All right, let's do it. We're going to Vegas. We are not exactly off to an ideal start here. I had a knife in my pocket, or not in my pocket, but in the bag. Apparently I didn't check while I was packing, so I could go through security twice. Had to run it back out to the car. Now we're heading to the gate. I think we're out of time. Hey guys, we made it to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here for the Vegas Golden Knights running a special weather balloon project. I gotta head over to their business offices right now so we can get started putting this project together because we're gonna fly tomorrow. Let's get started. All right, so we've made it to City National Arena. This is the practice rink for the Vegas Golden Knights and also where their business office is. They play over at T-Mobile Arena, which is downtown. This is kind of on the outskirts of town, and so this is where I'm meeting Tyler, who is the media coordinator for their weather balloon project. All right, so the plan for today at the business office here is we've got to build the payload. This is a much shorter timeline than, than we typically do for our flights. So I believe, hopefully, Tyler should have all the materials. I gotta go upstairs, help him build it, put it together. We're gonna do that quickly here today, and then we'll be ready to fly at about three o'clock tomorrow. How are you? Uh, not too bad. This is our main offices. Entertainment Experience and Production Team, which is our kind of department. This is our wing. We have this whole wing. We're at Vegas Golden Knights headquarters. I'm here with Tyler. What am I doing here? What do we got uh, going on? You're here because you have way more knowledge about weather balloons than anyone at the Vegas Golden Knights do. Golden Knights are trying to break the record for the highest puck drop. Wait a minute. Really puck makes drop sense. from a weather balloon? It makes sense. It's really on brand. We always try and do things big here. Our pregame show is insane. Uh, we always try and one-up ourselves. To kick off year three, we want to try and break the record for the highest puck drop. Current record is 15 meters high. 15 meters? Yeah. We, we can beat that. <laughs> we're we gonna try. That. So we're gonna try and beat that. I have one question though. We've mm -hmm. got the map up here. Let's yes. See. Is this Death Valley? As of right now, it's landing in this mountain, like right at the very top of this mountain. Did you bring your hiking shoes? I did actually bring hiking shoes. <laughs> oh, good, shoes. good, because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Death Valley it's, scares me. No, it's it's you, we passed Death Valley. It's totally fine. Yeah. Totally fine. Who gets the puck after this? Once the puck drops, we are gaining the assist from some state patrol officers. They're gonna help us retrieve the puck. They will then deliver it to T-Mobile Arena. They will then drop it on the ice, hence completing the highest puck drop. How many people did you have to convince that it was a good idea to launch a weather balloon Honestly, for a hockey team? It was way easier than I expected. Really? <laughs> way easier. I'm excited. We're yep. gonna... Oh. We're gonna get this done. Hey, his wife's calling. He's my got wife. Again, I gotta go. My wife's calling. Right, he's gotta answer this. We're, <laughs> we're gonna move on. <laughs> All right. So we just finished the build for, or at least part of the build here at the Vegas Cold Knights business office. Uh, we still got a lot to do. We've got holes cut out for the camera. We have still got to mount the cameras in there, and we've got to mount the puck. The puck is gonna get mounted on the bottom, but we've got some ideas on how we're gonna mount that. Now, hopefully, we can put all that together in the morning, and we can be ready to fly at three o'clock. Whew! This is gonna be tough. So as part of my trip out here, the Vegas Golden Knights were kind enough to invite me to come to their preseason game tonight against the Colorado Avalanche. I just gotta figure out how to get over there. It's right there, that's the building. I don't know how to get there. And uh, they gave me this cool jersey too, right? Look at that, pretty awesome. And actually on the back, it says Overlook 21 in honor of Overlook Horizon, flight number 21. That's the flight that we're, do that we're here for and that we're doing with them.
Well, that was fun. I got to go uh, downstairs in the arena, a little behind the scenes action. Fortunately, I couldn't film there. I wish I could have filmed there and then I could have showed it to you. So now we've got ourselves a uh, walk back to uh, the hotel here. We're gonna go down the Vegas Strip and uh, see a little bit of the nightlife. So let me take a minute and I'm gonna explain exactly what we're trying to do here with the Vegas Golden Knights. So the way this is gonna work, they're not actually going to drop the puck from the payloads. It's gonna be a special ceremonial puck. They're gonna bring the puck up on the payloads. They're gonna bring it up to about 100,000 feet, just like we did with the Space Lobster. So they're gonna bring it up in front of the camera. They're gonna film it the whole way. They're gonna track all the telemetry information. And then as it comes down, it's gonna come down with the rest of the payload under parachute. We're gonna recover it just like we normally would with a regular weather balloon flight. And then they will take that puck to their opening night. Uh, so at their opening night on October 2nd, they will drop that puck and it will become the highest puck drop. Okay, uh, day two here, Las Vegas. I gotta go head over to the Vegas Golden Knights business office. We got a lot to do today. We gotta get the payload ready to fly in like six hours. Let's do this. All right, we got the coffee situated, good to go. Heading into the Vegas Golden Knights office here now. We gotta get this payload built because we got an hour of driving to get to the launch site and then we still probably have three hours of setup time once we get there. So kind of in crunch time. So we got like two hours here to finish building this payload and hopefully be good to go. We're gonna try to do it. All right, let's go inside. Right, we're here we're at area 51 getting ready to launch this weather balloon we're gonna try to see if we can see some aliens no, i'm just kidding we're not at area 51 but i think it's close by i don't know everything looks the same out here but we're in the desert we're gonna launch a weather balloon i mean look at these mountains that are behind us are these not gorgeous or what this is exciting got police presence they're actually gonna go on the recovery with us as well got everything laid out just like we normally would on any of our other flights i'm excited this should be an awesome launch and then the question is going to be for recovery not a lot of roads out here in the desert so if it comes down and it's near a road great Great. But if it doesn't, we're gonna be hiking. And who thought it was a good idea for long sleeve flight suits? I don't know why I'm wearing this. And what are we what are we doing out here today? We are gonna launch a weather balloon to the edge of space with a hockey puck on it. We launched a little mini NHL referee as one of our very first flights that we ever did. And so this just fits in perfectly. I actually learned about today, yesterday afternoon, I think. Well, my partner and I had just got finished working the Area 51 event they had going all weekend, <laughs> so our cars were filthy. So, but yeah, once we heard, how can you say no? We're all huge Golden Knight fans. 
I'm expect expecting, as you can see around us, we have a lot of open space here. So I'm yeah. expecting a lot of hours in the hot sun, traipsing through the desert looking for a hockey puck. So yeah, I mean, we're pretty much as set up as we can be, I think. Letting it just go is kind of like letting a, your baby like go off to college and you can't control it anymore. Hopefully we can find it. I had a bunch of like nightmares last night of like it landing and all going good. And then we're going to go get it. And then the puck's like not on there. Like the puck falls off. I think I'm we excited. got this. I think we got it. We got it for sure. It's just scary. <laughs> All right, so we're on the chase here now. Things are looking good, except they have no service. There's nothing around us. What's the closest thing to us here? The closest thing to us is probably the balloon, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the closest thing There's to us. There is nothing out here. Landing is looking uh, somewhere between the top of a mountain and next to a road. We're not sure yet. We'll be at the landing site soon, as long as we can figure out where that is. Woo! So, fingers crossed, we'll be, we can pick this thing up. <laughs> Okay, so apparently we're heading out to Death Valley. There's no cell service, so I can't see the tracking information to figure out where the balloon is, when it's gonna come down. So we had to go, we had to come here to, how do you say the name of this town? Shoshone? 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 We're in Shoshone. Shoshone? Shoshone? Shoshone production. And uh, we came to this town. We had to find a, a bar, the Crow Bar. They're, Great bar name. They were nice enough to let us use their Wi-Fi so that we can connect to the internet and actually see what the predictions are. And then we gotta go try to, we're gonna figure out if it's on a mountain or in a valley because that's gonna make a big difference in how the day goes. I mean, look at the size of these mountains. Like that is, that is a huge mountain there. That would, that would take a long time to climb. That's not gonna be good. Hopefully we don't land in the mountain. There, there were some valleys there. That would be much, much better. That's where we are now. All right, we're on the way down 36,000 feet. We broke, uh, balloon burst was, what did I say? 93,700? That was the last update. That was the last we got. So uh, we might have been a little bit higher than that, but uh, we'll figure that out after landing. Right now, it looks like we're going to the side of a mountain. Woo! Tyler's ready to climb up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna track this down and see if we can see if we can see it again. Hopefully, the puck is still there, right? Oh, it's still there. Fingers still crossed. <laughs> don't, don't do that to my heart. My poor, poor heart. <laughs> gonna document this for just in case somebody finds us out here oh my God. <laughs> then at least they can look at the SD card footage and they'll know what happened and then we're a bunch of idiots trying to track down a hockey puck <laughs> yeah. so update we're uh, we landed up there in the side of the mountain we got a long hike here Let's try to get up there uh, we're, we're literally in Death Valley and I'm just trying to keep an eye out for snakes and scorpions. I never walked in the desert before. I don't like the idea of that. It does not sound like a fun time. I'm ready to go back to New York. We don't have rattlesnakes or scorpions in New York. 
no cell service, but I got, luckily we got the ham radios and we got our police force way back there somewhere. As long as they don't leave, they've got one of my radios. So at least we can call for help. I would just like to say, I think you guys are all very trusting. Yeah. <laughs> this guy from Rochester, New York, said there's a box on the side of the mountain and everybody just went, all right, let's go get it. It's accurate, actually. Yeah. <laughs> When you say it like that, all of a sudden, yeah, no. I might have lost a little bit, but... <laughs> now you don't have confidence in me anymore? I'm really starting to question my judges of character. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to them. I, this is no fun to me. Not my idea of a joke. What? Oh, those are ants. Okay. It's just ants. I don't know what I feel worse about hiking into the woods to recover Overlook Horizon 13 in the middle of the state forest by myself, or hiking into the desert. At least, I guess at least this time I have. We got three people with me in this party, but there's another, I don't know, three people or so up the side of the mountain. They didn't wait for us. So I got the radios. I don't know where they're going, but they didn't wait for us. Ladies, mission successful. I was starting to get really scared there. Who found it? This man, right here. The four of us. Did you just walk up upon it? Yeah, just, I was, uh, I was right going next through the washes and as I came through around the one yeah, we kind of side, out. kind of saw the saw the yellow. So just went closer and saw the parachute. The puck's still here. Well, that's, that's a good sign. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the front oh door. Oh my god. You got to be joking. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, shut look at this. Look at that. Are you serious? Oh, and the sun. Are you joking, dude? That's the golden night. Cool. Are you did. joking? Oh my god. Oh my that god. Is a that shot. Is, that is going to be like all over the shot. arena during game night. Can you imagine? Oh, let me get this shot. Look at that. Oh my god. Right. How could you that. ask for more? Looking you got to be joking <laughs> that we sent this thing to space. Oh my god. You're like Elon bad. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> so he, is this what Elon Musk feels like? <laughs> I'm getting a drink tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was worth every single second. Gentlemen, lady, should we start the trek back? We got it. I think Tyler's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Found it out here in Death Valley. That's definitely a first for me. Yeah, no. How long of a hike was this? Like five miles? I'm glad we got it back for you. Some pretty awesome footage. This is, oh, looks pretty sweet. Killer. I think everybody's pretty happy. All right, well, that's going to wrap up my portion of this mission. I'm heading back to New York, but this puck will continue on to their opening night on October 2nd when the Vegas Golden Knights play the San Jose Sharks. All right, we'll see you on the next video.